What's going on everybody? This is Bob with Fun with Photoshop and in this episode we're going to teach you a little bit more about the Danny Diamond Retouch workflow. Specifically we're going to be going through the group for the eye retouching. So if you look over here on our layers panel we're going to expand on the eyes and if you're curious about these other sections we have separate videos showing how to do the frequency separation and the dodge and burn. Now for the eyes, it's probably one of the most simple sections or groups to uh, work. So first we're going to start from the bottom up. So um, select this sharpen layer here. Now you can see when you first click on it, it selects the gray layer. You don't want to be on the gray layer. So go ahead and click on the black layer here. Now if we drag our panel over so we can read the notes, it says set your brush to 70% and on the eyes only. So we're going to hit B for brush. We're going to hit the number 7, which just changed that to 70% and 100% flow. And let's go ahead and zoom in on the eyes only. So all we're going to do is make one pass on the eyes, and eyelashes, and there you go. And you can kind of see in our mask down here what we did. Okay, darken eye pupil and lash line. I don't think we need to do that on this particular image, but if you wanted to do that or needed to do that, you would set your brush to 20% opacity. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. So we'll set it to, we'll, we'll hit the number two for 20. And we'll just darken this up just a little bit here. And I forgot to mention, but while you're painting on these masks, you want to make sure that your brush is white. So white reveals, black conceals, and these are already black, so we want to paint with white. There you go. Now for teeth and eye whitening, we're going to brush 100% opacity. So we're just going to hit 100 on our keyboard, and that just changed the opacity to 100. We're just going to brush on the whites here, so just in these regions here. And you want to be careful not to get this on any skin. It'll remove uh, the color just a little bit from your skin tones and make them a little bit grayish. Kind of see how I just got it on her lip a little bit. There you go. And I brighten. So for this one, we're just going to hit 1 for 10%. So we just change the opacity to 10%. Flow is still 100%. And for the eye brighten, here's the here's what we're going to do. And let me show you how we do this. So we're going to make our soft brush a little bit larger than the eye. And we're going to we're going to keep our finger on the bracket key just above the enter key on our keyboard. And we're going to click once and then make it smaller and then click again so here you go click once make it smaller click again make it smaller click again make it smaller all the way until you get down to the bottom of the eye okay and we're going to do the same thing for the other eye so we're going to make it a little bit larger and this is on a soft brush here 10 percent opacity so we're going to click go smaller click go smaller click Go smaller, click, all the way until we get to the bottom of the eye. Okay. Now, if we needed to do a little bit more, what we can do is we're going to set our brush to 8% opacity. And let me show you how to do this. See how small my brush is right here? Let's get on our eye here. And this is way zoomed in. Okay, 100%. So what we're going to do is make our brush a little bit smaller, and we're just going to kind of, oh, if you look, the foreground color changed back to black. So we're going to hit, hit X, and that just changed it to white. So as I mentioned before, white reveals, black conceals. And we're just going to kind of Mm 
that will kind of add a little bit of a spark of life. And we're just going to do a little bit of a zigzag pattern. And the catch lights in her eyes are a little bit weird. She was laying on a bed, so that's the white bed sheets. You can see the window and me photographing her in her eye. So typically, for an image, um, for a high-end retouch, I would totally redo her, her eyes, fix the catch lights, everything, add in new catch lights. Now if we see a before, here's the before of her eyes, and here's the after, before and after. Um, just looking at this, I would say the whites of her eyes are just a little too much. Like, let's see here. So I would probably change this opacity of this layer just a little bit, or probably wouldn't even do it and just leave it off. Her, uh, we had touched up her teeth a little bit too, and her teeth are white enough that we can get away without it. So I think I would just leave it like that. So now if we do the before and after, just adds a little bit of spark to her eyes. And that's it for this video. Be sure to join us for our next video where we go over toning, which is this section of the Danny Diamond Retouch workflow. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave us a comment. And uh, please rate and subscribe to our videos and check out our Facebook page for more information. Thank you.